Have you ever pulled up behind a pickup truck at a red light and wondered, why is that hood so ridiculously massive? Or maybe you've climbed into one and thought, wow, I feel like I'm sitting on the second floor of a house. You're not alone. Truck hoods are big, and not just big, they're intimidating. But there's actually a lot more going on than just aesthetics or brute force. These oversized fronts have roots in engineering, utility, safety, and even history. So today, we're digging deep into a surprisingly fascinating question. Why are truck hoods so large? Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's kick things off with the obvious, the engine. Trucks are workhorses. Whether it's hauling a trailer, towing a boat, or carrying lumber, they're built to do stuff. That means they need power, and power comes from larger engines. While a typical sedan might get by with a four-cylinder engine, trucks often run six-cylinder engine or eight-cylinder engine. These engines are longer, wider, and require more cooling. So naturally, you need a larger engine bay, and therefore a larger hood. But it's not just the engine itself. Under that big hood, you'll also find a beefier radiator, extra cooling fans, and sometimes even turbochargers or intercoolers. All of these components need breathing room, and cramming them into a compact car-sized space just wouldn't cut it. In other words, big hoods are equal to room for big hardware. Now, let's talk about another key factor, height. Pickup trucks, especially off-road or heavy-duty models, are built higher off the ground than most vehicles. That added ground clearance helps them tackle rough terrain, muddy roads, steep angles, you name it. But raising the whole body up also means raising the hood. And here's where things get interesting. Because truck engines are mounted in a more upright position, and because the front suspension components take up more vertical space, the hood isn't just longer, it's taller too. So the hood ends up towering above that of a normal car. Even if the engine is sitting at roughly the same vertical level inside, it's part necessity, part byproduct of truck design. Of course, not everything about a truck hood is purely functional. Some of it is about attitude. Think about it. Trucks are marketed as strong, tough, and capable. The large hood and the big, bold grill that comes with it is part of that identity. It's a design language that says, I can handle anything you throw at me. Just like sports cars have low-slung profiles to scream speed and agility, trucks have high-riding hoods to project power. It's psychological. People don't just want a tool. They want something that feels dominant on the road. Automakers know this, and they've leaned into the trend. Over the years, trucks have gotten taller, wider, and bolder. That's no accident, it's branding. Here's a less obvious reason, safety. Modern vehicles are designed with crumple zones, areas that absorb impact in a crash to protect the passengers inside. Trucks are no exception. But because they're body-on-frame vehicles, especially full-size pickups, they handle collisions differently than cars. To help meet safety standards, especially for pedestrian impact protection and frontal crash performance, manufacturers design taller hoods with specific reinforcement zones. In the event of an accident, that extra space gives the vehicle room to absorb energy rather than transferring it straight into the cabin. Ironically, that big bulky front might look aggressive, but it's actually doing a lot of behind the scenes work to keep people safer, both inside and outside the truck. Here's another angle, literally. When you're towing something heavy or carrying a lot of weight in the bed, the balance of the vehicle changes. Trucks are engineered to account for those load shifts, and that affects how weight is distributed across the chassis. A larger hood area, especially with a heavy engine underneath, helps keep the front end planted. 
It can improve stability when pulling a trailer and help with overall ride quality, especially when that trailer starts swaying or shifting behind you. In short, the hood isn't just for show. It's part of the balancing act that lets trucks haul and tow with confidence. Now, here's a little history. Back in the early days of trucks, think 1940s and 50s, these vehicles were essentially rugged work machines with giant utilitarian bodies. Engines were simple but big, and the hoods had to match. Even as technology has advanced and components have gotten more compact, that big truck is equal to big hood visual has stuck around. It's now baked into our collective expectations of what a truck should look like. So even when manufacturers could theoretically slim things down a bit, they usually don't. Because customers want that classic commanding truck profile. It's nostalgia meets functionality, all rolled into one large, loud, unapologetic hood. And if you are curious about its cleanliness maintenance, well, it's no joke. Because truck hoods are so tall and flat, Spraying them down with a standard hose from ground level often just results in a misty splashback and a still dirty center. You either end up soaking yourself or missing the top altogether. Some owners resort to using high pressure nozzles or angling the hose like they're firefighting just to cover the whole surface. It's one of those everyday quirks that quietly reminds you this thing is way bigger than it looks from the driver's seat. So if you will ask again, why are truck hoods so large? For sure at this point, you know that it's a mix of reasons. Truck hoods are big because they house big engines and even bigger cooling systems. They sit high up to clear rough terrain and suspension systems. They provide structural safety in crashes. They reflect bold, powerful design language. They make maintenance easier and they honor a long-standing tradition in truck culture. What might seem like a simple design choice is actually a cocktail of engineering, branding, safety, and psychology. So the next time you see a massive truck barreling down the road, remember, there's a lot more going on under that hood than meets the eye. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below we'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.